Over the past seven weeks since Easter, we've been celebrating in joyful manner the resurrection of Jesus Christ and recalling his many appearances to his apostles. As they recognised his presence, their hearts burned within them and they were filled with comfort, reassurance, inner peace and strength. Today is the Feast of Pentecost, which recalls the descent of the Holy Spirit on the Apostles in the form of a roaring wind and tongues of fire. The first reading describes the spectacular baffling effect produced on the disciples by the coming of the Holy Spirit. The change in their lifestyle was startling as the Spirit urged them to be their very best selves. They threw aside caution, were no longer afraid or, and rushed out to begin their mission of preaching the good news, boldly proclaiming their faith in a crucified Christ. Suddenly, there was no longer uncertainty. Everything fell into place and made sense. At that moment, the church was born. The Spirit of God filled the disciples with new hope and courage. They received the power and strength to set off into the world and enthusiastically continue the work which Christ had begun. The coming of the Spirit on that first day of Pentecost was not a once-for-all event, but the beginning of his permanent presence in the church. By virtue of our baptism, the Holy Spirit is closer to us than we dare imagine. Wherever there are hearts open to receive him, the Spirit of God is poured out, inspiring minds to undertake their mission as Christ's representatives. This feast brings home to us that God calls us to a deeper relationship with him and wants us to share in his life. It's an invitation to enkindle the fire of love and to stir up the grace of our baptismal calling. We do not always know when the Spirit moves us, yet we are frequently surprised by the power that drives us to action. Whenever we go beyond our own selfish indifference and reach out in genuine concern for people in trouble, then the Spirit of God is at work guiding us, giving us renewed strength to turn upside down accepted human values and the will to move along in a new direction. As we face trials and crosses and encounter the difficulties and disappointments which can leave our daily lives in tatters, we need to stand in need of the help of the Holy Spirit whose presence makes such a difference to our outlook. Christ has promised that the power of the Spirit will come if we ask for him. It's essential then that in prayer we leave the door of our hearts open to invite him in. We become different persons and changed people to the extent that we allow the Holy Spirit to disturb our complacency, uproot, or mediocrity and make way for fresh growth. What the Spirit will bring into our lives if we per permit him to lead us is joy, peace and love. On this Pentecost Sunday, we thank God for the gift of the Spirit, who works in countless hidden ways to deepen our faith, fill us with strength and inspiration and to renew our lives.